Hello guys, my name is Doke and I used to be known as a big hater of weather. I was bitching about it all the time, but today I will face my old enemy and I will punch him straight into the face or he will punch me. I actually wanted to record this video for about three months. For three months I've been waiting for the worst possible conditions. There are multiple factors that can make painting outside really really uncomfortable sometimes even impossible the very first factor is the temperature today we have lovely two degrees of celsius which is in my opinion the very worst temperature possible because it's not freezing cold so everything is still wet right you get muddy you get dirty the water on a wall isn't frozen so it is a problem frozen water is also a problem but the second factor is wind wind can be a really big pain in the ass during a really really windy day it's a big problem to make a lines like this because it just takes the color and it splashes it or smack it and then get bad you know what i mean right i have to admit that today it's not the case it's not all that windy but i'm telling you i've been waiting three months three months and the last factor the third one is rain or snow it doesn't matter if you are painting during a hot summer day or during winter my shoes are already wet rain is always a problem always but for sure it's a bigger pain in the ass during a winter time because you are not only wet you are cold as well but what about snow is snow bad for a painting well actually it's better than rain a lot better today According to my weather forecast, we should experience both. Rain, which is already happening. It's not a strong rain, but I have a solution for that. And later during the day, we should experience snow. So this is really not a day when you should go out for a painting mission. But here I am with two fire extinguishers guys if you haven't seen the video with these two click down there actually up there it's a lot of fun for you not for me the reason why i have them here today is that it is raining but it's not that bad and the wall is partly wet but mostly dry and we definitely don't want that so i'm just gonna take this bad boy and i'm gonna make it rain Perfect. I'm gonna change my sneakers because my feet is already wet. These are waterproof. Huh. The rain is getting heavier, which sucks, but it is also perfect for the purpose of this video. So let's see what's gonna happen. I forgot my painting stick, but maybe, ah! Awesome! Uh-huh, all right. This background color doesn't have such a big problem with water because it's water-based, so... I will be able to get a nice solid background color, but the color will never get dry. Never, ever. Okay, I'll show you something. This is pretty rare, but it happens sometimes. There is, ooh! <laughs> there was a bubble on a wall full of water. This happens sometimes. <laughs> Oops. 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 Whoops. 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 
Just look at the ground. Let's grab the spray paint. Okay. Let's do a doodle grit. Let's do the first lines. I have a special winter gloves from Montana cans, which are awesome, but they have a few problems. The gloves are slowly getting wet, which sucks. And also they are very big. And so when I hold the can, I'm not 100% comfortable because it's, it's chunky, but you need it because otherwise your hand will be frozen. There is nothing better than a nice cold respirator on your cold face. Ah. My phone is completely wet, my hands are freezing, and my sketch <laughs> is being washed away. I, at the moment, I'm seriously thinking if this is even possible. All right, let's grab a fat cap and let's see if I can actually make something out of this. My jacket is getting completely wet. It's not really waterproof, so I better hurry. Uh, got. Everything is a fucking mess. Ugh. Okay. Everything is wet. I am wet. The wall is wet. Ugh. It's a little bit better than I expected 10 minutes ago because the color, the spray paint actually sticks to the wall. In my opinion, if I never used the background color, I would be able to do a pretty normal painting. <laughs> Fortunately, I picked very suitable character for this project. I'm not sure if I'm able to take a break during this painting because I'm afraid that everything would be gone when I come back. Ah. 
All right, I'm starting with a bit of an outline here. As I'm applying more and more layers of spray paint color, I'm having a feeling that it sticks better and better to the wall. Need some black. Uh-oh, my waterproof shoes are uh, not that waterproof, I guess. Let's be honest, I'm standing in the water here. In some way, this painting is very freeing, if that's a word. <laughs> I feel so free because there is, you know, I'm basically painting on a water. So there is absolutely no pressure to make it clean or straight or I don't know. And so I'm just jumping around it, painting like pow pow. And somehow it's working. <laughs> Maybe I should paint like this more often. But the reason why I am able to just jump around here and be this fast is the fact that I prepared the painting before. I know every part of it. I know where the shadows are. I know which part should be more dark, which one should be lighter. I made all these decisions before in my iPad. So right now I'm just repeating them on the wall. Okay, this is not correct. I'm cold. The freaking color from the wall is just traveling all the way to the forest. This is not a toxic color. It should be it should be okay. And anyways, this whole forest will be down in a month or or so. There will be a tram right here. Rails right here. Ah, fuck. Ah. Okay, let's do some details. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm totally fine. Cold, 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 I'm fucking cold. Uh, I wanted something, I wanted to do something, I wanted to do this. Uh, fuck. Oh, come on. Fucking hell. My feet are soaking wet. My whole body is soaking wet. Look at this jacket, look at it. It's completely wet. Ugh. It took me two hours, two hours to paint this character and I, I had enough. Man, painting in conditions like this. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's freaking raining. Ugh. Yeah, what I wanted to say is that painting in conditions like this is total nightmare. Don't do it, it sucks. You're gonna be pissed, you're gonna be cold, you can get sick, but if you desperately need to paint something, it's possible. And let me just go very close to the wall and tell you this. These cans 
are freaking amazing. I can't imagine worse conditions than this. And look at this, look at the details. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's there. The painting is here and will stay here. I'm gonna try something after the final result okay with these two if you enjoyed this video thumb up would be awesome as always actually it would be even more appreciated today because of all this and before the final result and the final test with the extinguisher one more thing i got new prints and they are special for the first time i used a special 3d printing method and the results are hella fresh there is a new dog style print and gold font print both of them are signed and numbered by me and there is one more thingy if you get any of these prints you will also get one more print i'm talking about completely custom handmade prints with my tags every single one of them is unique created by me so if you for example get the style and the font print at the end you will get four prints and one last thing christmas are coming so if you want to get these prints get them right now there is a limited 10 percent off sale for the next five days until sunday december 5th until then you can get these prints in a sale or you can get some merch we have a fast shipping but i highly recommend to order right now because if there is some problem we can always switch the size of your hoodie or take care of any other possible problems before christmas alrighty Okay, one last thing. <laughs> oh damn, it's not just the water. There are some leftovers of the color that was inside. Ah. And that was my third GoPro battery. But the painting is still here. Look at it. With some damage, it even survived a fire extinguisher attack. And with that said, this is it. Guys, get your merch at doco.com, get the prints, and I'm gonna change myself right now. Hi.